It's a similar sound. It's not, it's not quite Bon Iver, but it's, uh, it's going to be similar. Outside the Inside requested this one, and, and he told me in the DMs that uh, it kind of gives the same feeling that Bon Iver's self-titled project does, and that's my favorite of his albums, so I'm so excited to jump into this. And the track length, the album length is perfect, 10 songs, 33 minutes. Like, I, I think this is going to be really cool. Um, I'm so, so excited to jump into it. So uh, let's, let's do the intro and then we'll um, dive headfirst into it. So what's going on, everybody? Uh, I know I, I kind of had some stuff to say before I actually introduced the video, but uh, it's Doug. It's great to see you. You look fantastic. Thank you so much for being here today. We're going to be listening to Birthplace by Novo Amor, or as I say it in English, Novo Amor. Um, feels weird to say it that way, but it's a little more consistent. I am speaking English, so... <laughs> I'm excited to jump into it. I kind of prefaced that before we uh, introduced the video, but I do have some plugs to get out of the way very quickly, and then we will uh, jump into it, so bear with me. Uh, this was a special request by Outside the Inside. Thank you so much for your generosity, for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. You can specially request a reaction to any album of your choosing if you send in a $30 donation to the channel using the Streamlabs link that is in the description of my videos. Uh, it's also pinned at the top of the chat for those of you who are watching the live stream. Uh, it's a fantastic way to support the channel. It's been my main source of revenue recently. It's been what's uh, most helping me to put food on the table and uh, I could not be more appreciative of the generosity, not just financially, but also in sharing uh, some of your favorite albums with me as well. It's, got, it's gotten me to discover a lot of new artists that I'm very excited about as well. So thank you guys so much for that. And I also want to say a massive thank you to everybody who is a patron or a member of the channel on YouTube and on Patreon, uh, of course. I, I, I could not do this without the support of those guys as well. Everybody in that $5 tier and above gets access to early, uncut, ad-free videos, as well as any videos that end up blocked on YouTube due to some copyright issues. Uh, if you're a member of the channel and the video is blocked on YouTube, you can check the community page on my channel and, and you will find a link to the album on Google Drive, so, or the reaction on Google Drive. So uh, just keep an eye out there if you can't seem to watch any videos in the members only playlist. And uh, if all else fails, you can shoot me an email uh, and uh, I will get back to you with the link to the video so you can watch it as soon as possible. So thank you so much to all the patrons and members. Make sure to follow me on Twitch if you want to watch the live streams. And uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of different stuff on Twitch in the near future. I've got some ideas that I'm going over in my head that I'm, I'm going to be bringing to the live streams. And so it should be more and more fun to uh, be in the chat and, and be here to watch those, um, those events live. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Over 90% of the viewers who watch the videos on my channel are not subscribed. And that's, it's disheartening to see that because um, it, it makes it so much easier for both of us if you consider subscribing. Uh, it'll make it easier for you to come back to my channel and watch my future videos or my older videos. It tells YouTube that they need to be recommending my videos to a larger audience. Uh, and it's absolutely free. So it's, it's, like the third best way to support the channel. And I, I really appreciate everybody who has subbed so far. There's over 20,000 of you, and that number, I probably couldn't even count to it. So thank you guys so much. Uh, and with those plugs out of the way, let's jump into Birthplace by Novo Amor. Track one is Emigrate, and I will have the lyrics up on screen so that you guys can follow along as well. There we go. The guitars already sound so pretty, dude. I love this vibe so much. I'm so ready. Oh yeah. Yeah, this fucks. Still divided everything inside. 
Nice, the drums coming in. I love the horns. Fuck yeah, man. This sounds awesome. Beautiful guitar. I want to learn how to play this. Playlist. I think four playlists is enough. Yeah. Cool little chord progression there. I'm still trying to figure it out. That's catchy. Yeah, play that bass. Anything works now. It's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, that triplet is so nice. Very nice introduction, dude. Just starting us off with wonderful vibes and instrumentation so far. Uh, gorgeous falsetto vocals as well. Incredible atmosphere. No, I'm, I'm, I'm in love. In love with it. It's so approachable too. It's so easy to listen to. Title track? Okay. Might be your favorite. Let's see what it sounds like. A little faster paced, I like it. Oh really? I didn't know that. I was wondering what that was. Wow. These drums that came in are very cool. With the really big toms. All the guitar arrangements work together so well. That's 
a nice little riff on our right ear. You can do some like whistling right here. Give it a little bit more of an added folk music kind of a vibe. <laughs> It's a very nice song, man. That one's very pretty. Just su such a soft kind of energy to it that I really enjoy. It's, uh, like I said, kind of on a prettier side, you know? I like that a lot. Lovely piano. The strings and horns in conjunction, so nice. I thought the song was ending almost. I was drifting off and I was like, oh man, little fade out. And then they brought it back in. Yeah, lovely. This vibe right here is just right up my alley. Like I just, I'm so in love with it. This might be my favorite. I'm loving the guitar, man. Oh, 
I'm in love with the song. This might be my favorite so far. Playlist. Damn, that's actually heartbreaking, that line. Ain't it funny how he went nowhere? Fuck. shaker in the background. I loved the transition into this 6-8 section here. I think if you've got two guitars in harmony and they're being plucked, I'm gonna love the song. That's what I think. The strings like hitting the guitar's body hear them like vibrating. Wait, it's turning into like a jig right now. Perks building up. Strings over the top. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. This song needs a banjo. <laughs> harmonies. the use of the symbols, man. Still going very soft on the toms. Slowly picking up, yeah. Electric guitars here. I like that last one. I think the build-up was a little anticlimactic because it took a really long time to build up into something that wasn't a huge climax. It's still a very beautiful song. It's still very pretty. But the really long build-up didn't... wasn't as satisfying as I might have liked it. It's still a very lovely song and it's, I'm not gonna skip it, you know? Cause it's just so atmospheric and pretty. Like this one, which is already halfway through. Just kind of building that ambience, you know? noises in the back yeah it kind of feels like very shimmering uh, like snowy icicle sounds you know now that's that's a powerful bar I 
The stomping kind of drums in the background. delivery during the, the chorus, the I don't knows, that really soft approach that he has is just gorgeous. This album is just so soothing. It's like really calming me down. I feel like I'm barely saying anything. Hey, awesome percussion. Playlist. I feel like I'm in a trance, dude. Check that out. Low swimmer is great. Piano, the guitar sounds so bright. Seven years of faces, I guess that I deserve. I made a mistake. So keep it on the surface. Tell me that I was wrong. The triplet into the drum fill.
Yeah, I love this one too. This has to be a playlist track. Gorgeous, man. That last track was awesome, too. I said it almost a palm to my mouth. Damn. So sweet, man. Playlist. I'm in love with this song too. I can't believe how pretty these last few tracks have been, man. It's a gorgeous little piano riff too. The way that the strings were supporting his voice back there. The background vocals were all gorgeous. The harmonies, you know. That 6-8 swing is just really sweet. And uh, it's a really soft song, but I'm so hypnotized by it, man. I think I've added like the last three tracks to the playlist. He's on a little bit of a run here. And we're on the last song. This project flew by, man. It's very enjoyable. Super easy to listen to, for sure.
carve my name in Louisiana State. All my love will make you shake. Dude, I'm, yeah, he's such a good writer, too. I hear that banjo on my right ear. I like my folk songs to have a little bit of a country feel to them, man. Fiddle, banjo. Love it. I see you guys trying to gamble in the chat. Is the bot broken? Give it like five minutes, I'll turn the bot off and turn it back on and see if it works. That happens every now and then. Dude, I love how pretty this song is. With all my shame, I'll watch you wash away. Bro, it's heartbroken. This is a sad project. <laughs> Very emotional. I like it though. That'll do it. Really bad breakup turned to making music. Yeah, that'll do it, man. Just gorgeous, dude. That's Birthplace by Novo Amor. Novo Amor being new love, being the love for making music. Yo! His name makes so much more sense now. He turned to music after a really bad breakup. And in music, he found a new love. That's so fire. <laughs> Let's let the motorcycles go by. We're letting the motorcycles go by so we can get into it. That's really fire. I, I had no idea that context to his name now makes total sense. Uh, that's actually a great name, if that's the case, you know? But, um, man, about this project, it almost feels like I barely reacted to it. <laughs> it feels like I barely said anything. Like, I was trying to point out in the songs the things that I enjoyed about it. But for the most part, I was just, like, so lost in these songs, in the atmosphere that he created with them, and, and just drifting and not even like daydreaming or distracted no like in the actual music hearing different things in the music and just losing myself in it you know um but just like quietly hypnotized and and um i've i've come to learn you know after a few years doing these videos that some albums the more it makes you say the better but with other albums the less it makes you say the better. Some albums trap you in a trance, in a hypnotized state, because they're so beautiful and atmospheric, and they really make you lose yourself and lose your inhibitions and lose your worries and lose your anxieties and just kind of fall into the music. And I think that that's maybe the best thing that I could say about this album, is the fact that it made me not say much at all, you know? I was just in the music. I was just in there. 
And I tried to snap myself out of it every now and then and be like, shoot, I'm recording a video. Man, what is it about this song that I enjoy? And then I would say, oh, I think the piano sound really pretty and the acoustic guitars and the way that they panned the strings to this side and the horns to this side and his vocals are so pretty and the, the harmonies are very nicely done and the mix is very clean. But this music really makes me not want to talk. You know what I mean? It just makes me kind of want to evaporate and um, I love that about it. I think it's fantastic. I really do. It's a very enjoyable project. Uh, for his first solo album, because Outside said that his actual first album was a collab project, uh, this is insane. This is very well done. And another thing, when did this come out? I think it was like seven years ago, wasn't it? 2017? 2018, so six years ago, going on six years ago. Um, it holds up. I mean, this could have dropped last month. It really, really could have. No exaggeration on my part. Um, I would have believed it if you told me this dropped late December, you know what I mean? But yeah, uh, fantastic. Had a lot of fun listening to it. If I had to rate it out of 10 off my first listen, which I don't really like to do, but given that it's so atmospheric and so easy to lose myself in it, uh, it's so beautiful, but it's not perfect, there were a couple parts that I thought were a little too long and there were a couple parts that I feel like they didn't pay off uh, the, the anticipation on the anticipation that it was building. I'd probably give this like an eight and a half, you know, just very high score, super enjoyable. Um, yeah, this is great. This is great. So those are my thoughts on the project. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Really appreciate you. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Peace out.